so if y'all recall in previous videos, I said the three mile bridge at Pensacola was out and it was being repaired because of damage done by Hurricane Sally. Well, today on May 29th, announcing the bridge is open and we are going to it. And we're gonna venture to the other side and have some fun. And if you notice, Minnie's driving because she's got her boot off now. And we are also in the van. This is not the truck. Boom. This bridge has literally cut 60 miles off of a ride that we would take if we needed to come into Pensacola. Wow. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I mean, we're not even from here. And that bridge opening is like a whole new perspective on our stay. And doing stuff around here this is really cool now we can go to new places and go fishing i might even have more excitement about fishing now think so we'll see how long that lasts <laughs> Who's doing something different? Keeping it real. We'll see how long that lasts. But it's okay because he'll go fishing with me. He'll fish. And then when he get tired of fishing, he'll do his thing and he let me fish. So that's fair enough. <laughs> so we'll see. No, I think I will. As long as it's something different. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So we started our day with uh, going to see the new bridge that had opened as you saw in the beginning there and along the way we decided that we were going to go to Perdido Key. Perdido Key is I guess like the tourist area yes. for you know it's, it's beaches and condominiums and, yeah, hotels that kind of and um, some restaurants which we stopped and ate at one it was called the shrimp basket. The shrimp basket where we stopped at. And it was it was a nice place and the food was fair. Um, I wouldn't give it a five star rating, but you know, it was food in the belly. Um, but along the way we ran across Big Lagoon State Park, which really nice place, as you can see in the video. Um, many talk about the bathroom. Um, but one of the things that we didn't get to talk about was the annual pass, which we came upon when we got there. Um, the, you can pay for an annual pass, but um, actually I need to correct something. Mine is a lifetime pass because of veteran status, disabled veteran status. Um, and it's a lifetime pass that you renew every year. So when you all get out there, even when you, if you're not RVing, you know, if you go to state parks and if you're a veteran, if you're not a veteran, you know, take advantage of those uh, passes, the annual passes, the lifetime passes, the handicap passes. If, you, if you're handicapped, take advantage of those passes 
because chances are you're going to visit more than one of those those places and sometimes you, know, you visit them you're not even planning on visiting them and just come across one so if you come across it you already have your pass yeah you know and you can actually just be able to get up in there and you know if you're and the way the way it works is just if it's open then you go to the gate and you pay or you show your pass if it's not open then you go to the honor box and you pay or you write down the number that's on your pass and you put it in there and if it's also if it's if it's uh if it has an rv park then chances are it's going to have a gate where you have to put in the code and if you don't know the code you can't get in so we did we stopped there and um, we just looked, walked around there and looked at the RV park, which was pretty nice. Um, and then we made our way to the DO Key. So we're at Big Lagoon State Park. We stopped on the way to Perdido Key to check it out. Um, and actually, it's a pretty nice park. The sites, they're, they're gravel, dirt sites, you know. They're not, a couple of them, I guess probably the ADA sites, the disability sites were concrete. Um, but this is what's really cool and impressive. We stopped and used the bathroom, and the bathrooms are Extremely clean. Extremely clean. Yeah. And uh, the other uh, thing is um, about the sites. The sites, it's a lot of wood, wooded area. So there is not anyone, I don't see any sites where there's someone actually parked behind them with the RV where you could actually see them. Or even for that um, matter, there's nobody like right next door to you where you could just see the next person there's a little wood line yeah in between everyone here yeah you definitely have your privacy which is awesome so we're gonna walk around the bathroom and just like let y'all see how clean they are now the showers are in the bathrooms with the urinals and the toilets and all of that but they're separated i don't know about the ladies room i didn't even look at way. the ladies but it's probably you know but they definitely smell clean and they are definitely clean. Very clean. I was yeah. impressed. Let's go take a look. Okay, this is the ladies' restroom. Um, everything was really nice and clean and smelled very fresh inside. Soap, um, sinks, hand dryer. Um, the restrooms actually had the, the handicap restroom as well as the regular restroom. They even have the um, handicap shower, which is very nice if someone needs that, it's here. And uh, what's really cool is that everybody has their own little doors, little bench inside to put your things. Um, and uh, that's really nice because not all showers at campgrounds are this nice to have that. They even have a little bench here out front if you have to wait their turn. And a little bit to hang your towels or clothes. But the bathrooms are very nice and they got it set up so it's suitable for everybody's accessibility. And they got a nice uh, boardwalk stairs with handrails to be able to access up here to the restroom. And along the side, there's some trails with the railing for people who just come up the trail. But as you see, it's very wooded, um, but manicured and still natural at the same time.
so we were told about a restaurant in Perdido Key called the Shrimp Basket. And we're gonna head over there and see what the food is like. All right, so we are at the Shrimp Basket now. We're gonna go in and check it out. because you can have some water down there just eating away, causing mold and eating away at the interior, inside, underbelly of your, uh, of your RV. I heard the water alarm going off in here and it has stopped since, it's since stopped. Um, but still, I need to find out why. Um, so hand me that, oh there it is. I need to find out why it was going off because it's in a very specific place and water was touching it. Hand me the small light. Two, the yeah. small, yeah, the battery too. Thank you. So, uh, see it's right there. Ah, I see water. Um, now I need to see where it's coming from. You can see right there. Um, I need to see. Okay. It might be coming from under the uh, wet bay. I still need to get down there and see. I see it over there in the corner. I still need to get down there and see if it is in fact coming from the wet bay and not dripping off, and I don't see any dripping, anything dripping from anywhere. But I still need to get in there and see. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So it's a little bit wet. Yeah, it's, it's got some water down there. Um, it might be coming from the wet bay. If that's if it is, then that means I need to get some silicone around the wet bay, around the floor of the wet bay. You can hand me some paper towels, please. Did you at any point set that uh, hose in here? Is that wet? Yeah. That's wet right there? Yeah. Okay. Probably came under because see something wrong with this here's nozzle? It must have got busted. It, I don't know if you used it last because now it was dripping. Yeah. Um, little bit right here by the base. Yeah, I don't have any water coming off of any hoses down in here. So I'm gonna dry this little bit of water just a little bit right right along here. Yeah. I mean not much. Not much even the wet the, the paper towel can't dry up, you know? Yeah but it probably it may have dripped. Inside I may have dripped it inside and it came yeah. through and touched that. Yeah. Yeah. I 
So yeah, I think that's what I think it is. Let me have some paper towel. I need to be able to need to dry up in here. Yeah, I, I may have done it. If I sat it there for a second, because then I started putting it onto the table. Yeah. Because I couldn't because it was on. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep it open. Huh? I'm not gonna keep this open. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this up and. and go from there. Yeah. And uh, just get it done. And what are you saying? So I just dried off the floor. It looks like the water came from the uh, sprinkler hose nozzle that was uh, set down and uh, what I'm gonna do is keep it dry I'll put the water sensor back over there and I'll listen out for it um, I don't think there's any damage to anything like I said there's no there was no there's no water leak none of the hoses have any water on them none of the connections so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just let that be that and now uh, just keep a close monitor on it and that should be it time to put it away so like I said in the shakedown video things are gonna go wrong and and in this case, nothing went wrong. Um, it was just that the, uh, I think yesterday I washed my truck and I washed the RV. And because I didn't use a pressure regulator on the hose, um, it was direct pressure going to the cheap nozzle that I have from the RV part, uh, uh, pressure and I think it probably messed up a seal on it because it was leaking yesterday when I had it and then when Minnie was using it today she set it down and it leaked you know into the floor of the bay on the other side there and it ran up under the uh, wall and hit the sensor and it started beeping and that was it so now um, I'm finished here and I'm gonna go ahead and I closed up the wall and now I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back in this bay. So we went through that and we found that what the issue was and it was nothing they, you know, take care of. Uh, and then, um, as you see we, in the video, we had some friends visit, you know, um, Ira and Troy. Cafe Nola, what y'all think? Come back. Come back. There you have it. We coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Snowball. Snowball, Nola. What? You don't want to be seen falling? All right, go. So the boardwalk was not that uh, thrilling. It was a bunch of boards, <laughs> people walking. 
Am I gonna cook those steaks tonight, y'all? Or what? Probably not. Bro, cool. <laughs> Troy looking at his watch. <laughs> Are we gonna cook like 12 o'clock tonight? I told you how we gonna eat late. And then, yeah, hikers. You know, two, two of my room buddies back in the, uh, before we sold the house. We nice to see them again. Them. And it was really nice to see them. We appreciated them coming, you know. And, you know, don't, when when you're out here, you know, you, you miss your family and friends. You know, there's no doubt about it, you know, because you, you've changed a, a lifestyle. And when you have family and friends uh, come and visit you, appreciate that because, you know, they drove over 400 miles to get here, you know, to spend a day for us to go get something to eat, you know, come back and they crashed and, you know, uh, we spent the day, we spent a whole day together, you know, and that was, that was great. I really appreciate it. So, when you have family and friends to do that, you know, don't don't uh, take that for granted. Give them, you know, appreciate it. We got uh, Minnie's sister Brenda. She's coming to visit us. Yes. We love that, you know. And Heather and Yo Yo are coming from Georgia. They're going to come visit us, and we're going to do some things. And you know, we we love having family and friends coming. We appreciate that you all take your time to come and visit and spend time with us. We appreciate that you all take a few minutes of your day just to watch the videos. Yes. Um, so We enjoy your company when yes, you're here. And we do. So we, we're out here, we meet a lot of people, but it's nothing like our family and our friends that That's right. we are close to. So That's right. nice to have you guys. So thank you for coming to visit us. Thank you for watching us. Like I said, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, ring that bell, and be notified when our videos are released. Yes. And until then, what do we say? Bon, bon voyage. See you next time. We miss you! Let me go and She's killing me! Make sure you got it, because when I change clothes, I ain't doing no more. Somebody help me! <laughs> I'm gonna help you, alright?